Today's Columbus Day and I felt that it was important that I share my perspective as a Sicilian American around Columbus and how it fits into the general American narrative and specifically within the Italian American narrative. So the first thing is that Columbus a lot of times is viewed just as this, this explorer, as this traveler, but we really have to look at how he was as a leader, as somebody in power within the colonies that he helped to establish. So if you look at the texts from that time period, you see that he and as well as the bro his brothers that he put into positions of power were the perfect example of oppression. Uh, they immediately put into slavery many of the natives, put them into situations of very hard labor and one of the things that you see is that their population was decimated in a very short period of time so this is a typical situation of colonialism and really i think set the stage for future colonialism within the americas by spanish by uh, british portuguese french and other european groups so I don't think that oppression is something that anybody really should uh, praise or look up to and I think that's the first thing that we need to look at when we evaluate Columbus Day and how we view Columbus. The second thing is a lot of people will say well you know that's how it was back in the day um, these different nations these different groups were going around and taking people over and we that's in the past we just have to look forward well the thing is that those same people will say look at all the achievements that Columbus did so I wanted to go through a couple of those and debunk some of the myths that people have around Columbus so a lot of people have this idea that uh, which is very widespread about Columbus being having this novel idea about the world being round and if you look back at the text, you'll find that this is actually a myth that was developed by Washington Irving in a book that he wrote in 1828. And in fact, at the time period, it was generally accepted in Europe that the world was not flat, that it had some kind of roundish shape. It was just in terms of distances that they didn't know. So many people were afraid of uh, Asia being too far away and this was, of course was the reason why he traveled was to find a trade a better trade route in terms of the ocean to Asia the second thing is that of course he only really found parts of the Caribbean so he never went upon uh, the mainland America so a lot of people Kind of have that idea but that was future uh, explorers that found that and uh, up to his death he actually still thought that he had found some part of Asia so with all of that I think we can see that this guy really doesn't live up to the achievements that a lot of people attribute to him so back to oppression I think that this is one of the another reason why um, this is someone that we shouldn't honor in the way that we do the third topic that i'd like to discuss is the italian american narrative which tends to very adamantly support columbus and uh, almost put him to a level of status that uh, is almost higher than anyone else within America and the first thing to recognize is that Columbus was from the Republic of Genoa uh, Italy did not become a country until 1861 and this was 1492 so we can't really call Columbus an Italian uh, and he actually worked under the Spanish throne so the ne next thing we could talk about is uh, inter-politics uh, within Italy, uh, north versus south, and the oppression within Italy um, of the south by the north, but that's a story for another day. 
So the next thing is Italian American history. About 84% of Italian immigrants to America came from the South and Italy and Sicily. So these are regions that are very different from the place where uh, Columbus came from. Italy is a very diverse country with many cultures, um, with many languages, and with many peoples. So Columbus doesn't really represent or is not very connected to the majority of immigrants coming from Italy to America. The next point is that Italians were victims of racism and xenophobia in America as they came as new immigrants and within the first couple of generations as well. There were many hate crimes, mass lynchings, housing workplace, and uh, law enforcement discrimination against Italians in this country. And specifically, there was also legislation in the form of the Immigration Act of 1924. The Immigration Act of 1924 severely limited numbers of immigrants coming from the Mediterranean region. So in terms of Italians, um, it reduced the numbers from 100,000 immigrants a year to a quota of 4,000 immigrants a year. So in this, we see kind of a mirror of what people are trying to do today as well with other uh, populations, with other people from other countries. And uh, Italians were the victims of many of these same things. So in terms of the Italian res Italian American response to all of these issues of racism and, and xenophobia that uh, they were victims of, their response was trying to fit in to the general American narrative. So they raised up figures like Columbus, who uh, was a person who was honored within the general American narrative. And uh, they used people like Columbus to kind of gain leverage in uh, why they should be accepted. And this is something that I think many other minority groups can learn from is that this is really a way to erase your own history and also uh, really be kind of sellouts to the system. So I think with all of this, it's really important that Italian Americans reclaim their narrative and we need to reevaluate re what it means to be Italians living in this country. Uh, we need to distance ourselves from colonialism and imperialism that we as majority, as I said, Southern and Sicilian uh, descent people were really not involved in, in this country. And uh, we need to bring back ourselves to the core of the Italian American struggle for rights and social justice. Italians were very influential in terms of social justice, in terms of workers' rights and many other issues in this country. And I think this is something that people really forget about. Uh, even in terms of immigration reform, we really need to look back at what happened to us and look with a lens of sympathy, um, and understanding to other immigrant groups coming today. And um, another last point is that the whole month of October is Italian American Heritage Month. So even if you take out Columbus Day, it doesn't really matter because we have a whole month dedicated to us. So with that, I uh, just wanted to close it by saying Happy Indigenous Peoples Day. And hopefully this is somebody learned from this video and hopefully the Italian Americans will start to join many others in recognizing who Columbus was and reevaluating how we should view him and um, really honor the people native to this country who have really been the victims of this whole system and really should be the ones that we honor on this day.